Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on plastic. So guys, in this particular video, we are going to talk about some of the important stuffs for the cavalry players. Mainly, uh, in short, if I'm going to explain, we are going to talk about the march formations, guys. Yes, guys, as I am a cavalry player in this particular Castellan Kingdom 2148, so I'm going to tell you that how you, which formation you can use, what are the things that is needed for that particular formation to work very hard in the battles and um, apart from this i'm going also going to discuss some of the formation for the rift as well as the royal arena so let's begin the video without wasting any time so let's start with the formation for the normal one guys if you are going to place a, a tough role in the one-on-one -on -one battle in a battlefield then this particular formation is going to help you a lot let's first give you an overview of my stats so that you are able to understand that what stat is basically working for this particular formation and uh, apart from this, I'm also going to uh, assist you with the enhancement needed for each troop for this formation to work very well in the battlefield, whether it is one on one, whether it is Rift or whether it is Royal Arena. So I'm going to explain each and every of that one for the stats. So uh, let's have a Karma battle report without buffs. You can see over here my uh, basically my puncture is not good because it is very much hard for announcement to get the materials to increase the puncture well. So that is why I'm working, still working uh, slowly on the puncture thing for each of the troops puncture to at least two to four percent and all unit puncture. I have seen players having around 20 plus and that is really a good count. So let's slowly grow out that particular thing. If we talk about the infantry, I am uh, my infantry is very good at the defensive battles and perform very well for me. All right. And if you talk about the cavalry, my, the main thing that I'm focused on is the damage, received damage. My basic attack is quite low. I'm working on it to make it at least 100% because 100% of the basic attack is being needed for one-on-one -on -one battle and really going to perform very good. Then comes the basic HP. I'm also working on the basic HP over here. I need it to be at least 25 to 30% for sure. Cavalry offensive damage should be at least 20% plus. Apart from this, if you talk about the counter and counter by cavalry, it should both should be at least 100%. You should try to make it uh, more of the countered by cavalry to more than 100 percent around 120 or 130 percent will be a good count if we talk about the counter cavalry then it is also going to be 130 to 140 percent that is really going to be very much helpful over there then comes the critical rate critical rate is not going to place a very important role so it 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 is a good amount to go on with then comes the critical damage reduction it should be at least 400 percent or 350 percent plus basically uh if we are going to uh, set up my everything it will be around 415 percent for me then comes out the cavalry charge damage it should be more than 100 percent but my end is quite low so that is the thing apart from the if you talk about the offensive damage it should be around 300 percent plus at least it is going to perform very well then comes the archer i'm not going to use archer troops but still my archer is below average you can see because i don't have work on my archers even once then comes the siege i worked on the siege for the defensive purpose so that is why my siege is performing very well in the battlefield then come these are my stats right now and for the basic non-spender it is really uh, helpful for me in some of the battles and kvk of course then comes loud uh, now move to the formation uh, along with the i'm going to tell you the formation along with the enhancement that is being needed it is the solo cavalry hit means if you're going to plunder a huge castle on the solo basis means the castle uh, attribute dis difference is more than thousand percent then this particular one or it is like a good reinforcement is over there then this particular formation is going to help out guys if we talk about the percentage the t14 of the cavalry guys 8.66 percent i'm using on and my basic mass size is 495k this is my basic mass size so 8.66 percent i'm using t14 of the cavalry this should be enhanced to the max of 80 then comes the t14 of the infantry i'm going to use 1.62 percent it is also to be enhanced to the max of 80 then comes the t13 of the cavalry i'm using 67.26 percent of the normal t13 griffin knight and it is also to be enhanced to the max of 80. then comes the razor and armor i'm going to use 1.62 percent of each both enhanced to the max of 80. then comes out the t12 of the cavalry if we talk about i'm using only the farmer and razor 1.90 percent of each and my t12 of the cavalry is being enhanced to the max of 60 level if we talk about t12 of the infantry i'm using uh normal normal infantry 6.63 percent then the razor is 0.39 percent and the farmer is 0.81 percent and this is also being enhanced to max level of 60. apart from this let's move to the next one the t11 of the cavalry i'm using 2.71 percent of each and i have also enhanced it to max of level 60. 
then comes the next one uh, i'm using some of the t10 of the cavalry that is 2.17 percent and it is enhanced to the level of 40. so these are the enhancement and this is the march formation that i'm using personally for solo plundering over the opponent whose stats are less or weaker than me or who is having a good reinforcement available in their castle and i need to plunder it on the solo basis so this is the one now let's move to the one uh, the enhancement level that i'm uh, mentioned over in this particular formation this enhancement works very well if you are having lesser enhancement than this it might be possible that the amount of the result will be 19 or 20 but well good enhancement help you your troops to perform very well or very better in the battlefield now let's move to the formation that i am using on treasure rift or you can say royal arena both of the form uh, the forms i'm using this particular formation for both the offensive and defensive purpose let's move out to that particular one i'm using t14 of the cavalry 20.12 percent i'm using t14 of the nightmare knight 8.50 percent i have enhanced it to level of 71 percent guys all right then comes out apart from this i'm using out t13 of the cavalry 55% of the Griffin Knight, Razor is 0.50% and Turf Armor is 0.50%. So this is the one that I'm using out over here. All right, with a max level of 80 enhanced. And that is all. Uh, then comes the T11 of the Cavalry. I'm using 6.12% of the normal T11 Cavalry, 3.50% of the Razor and 3.75% of the Turf Armor. Enhanced to the max level of 60. Apart from this, none of the other troops are being used by me. So basically, uh, in the Rift as well as in the Royal Arena, I usually use most of the cavalry only. I'm not going to mix it with the uh, infantry or you can say other troops, whether it is Siege or the reason is that it is going to uh, because the uh, Rift and Royal Arena is one on one battle. If you are going to give a, a advantage of opponent of getting hit or uh, placing some of the weaker troops whose stats are not up to mark for you, then it will only give the benefit to the enemy and they will easily able to grab out the site, whether it is Royal Arena, whether it is Treasure Rift. So keep the precautions and try to use those troops which are being very much helpful and is stronger in attributes and enhancement. So this is about this guys and there is one more formation in the real prime let me make that particular one so that you are able to understand i'm not here changing out the hero over here basically i've seen monster players to use huge amount of the dark cavalry play troops so they used to if i'm having around 495k of mass size they are going to use around 150k of the t14 of the cavalry and rest will be t14 of the nightmare night guys i have also used this particular formation and it really works but only if you are having damage around 250 percent plus at least all right and the monster stats of having attack 4000 percent plus and hp 3000 percent plus if you are having that particular stats then this particular formation is going to work very well for you but if you're not having that particular for stats then please don't mess with the formation and don't use this formation because it only gives your troops the more damage and you are going to lose a huge amount of the t14 of the night soldiers as well as t14 of the normal soldiers guys and it is really hard to train out t14 of, uh, of the soldiers right now because there are very much less events available to gain the knight sorry the fine iron so please take precautions and use the formations wisely guys i hope this particular video is being helpful for you and you guys will learn from this and make your own formation if you want to uh, make slight changes over here then you can go on and try to uh, test your formation in the royal arena and all those things and then make your perfect formation on your own this particular formation is made by my own experience and i used to use it very well and they perform very well for me so that's all of today's video i hope that this video is going to be helpful for you if you find it useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys